Dermatoscopy of pigmented Bowen's disease. This is a lesion clinically that looks like a melanoma. It's a flat lesion or a patch and it is multicolored and dermatoscopically it also looks like a melanoma. It has some dots and globules or clots and it has a structural zone and it would be, according to, to the two-step algorithm, classified as a melanocytic lesion by default, but it is not. It's pigmented points disease. Now, how to make a diagnosis? Do you have a clue? Well, we analyzed multiple cases of pigmented points disease clinically, but also dermatoscopically. Clinically, you often see scaling, and scaling is a feature that you see much better without the, the dermatoscope. And here's the same lesion dermatoscopically. So which pattern is present? Well, there is only one pattern that is structureless and there is one color brown. Structuralist brown is the most common pattern of pigmented Bowen's disease. Well, you may say that there are also some red dots, but these red dots are vessels, and vessels do not belong to the pigmented structure of a lesion. Interestingly, these vessels are dots, and vessels as dots may be one presentation of the vascular pattern of Bowen's disease. Another lesion clinically there is little scaling, it could be anything from a sub K to a melanoma, but it's pigmented Bowen's disease. What is the pattern? Again, structureless, brown and skin colored. And you can see that the color is interesting. It's chaotic in terms of colors. There are multiple colors and the colors are arranged asymmetrically. But there's a clue here to the diagnosis of pigmented Bowen's disease. You can see the vessels here are not dots. Well, some are dots, but some are coils. Coiled vessels are a clue to pigmented bones disease. But these cases are very difficult because of the structuralist pattern. Another lesion clinically on severely sun-damaged skin. Dermatoscopically, the sun-damaged skin appears as reticular lines because these are solar lentiginous. But what else can we see? We can see dots. Most of them are gray and this is the first clue and the most important one to pigmented bones disease. The gray dots are arranged in lines. Now we come back to the first case clinically. What is the pattern? The pattern is structureless and dots. The dots are brown and gray. Well, this could be anything from a melanoma to a BCC to a sub K. But as you can see here, some of the dots, some of the brown dots are arranged in lines. And this is a good clue to the diagnosis of pigmented Bowen's disease. And this is a study with Ellen Cameron, an Australian skin cancer doctor, as the first author. And we described 52 lesions of pigmented Bowen's disease. And we found that the typical pattern of pigmented Bowen's disease by dermatoscopy is structureless and dots. And there is also a clue. If you see brown or gray dots arranged in lines, it's very specific, although not very sensitive, because only 21% of all cases of pigmented bones disease showed that. So here are the clues of pigmented bones disease described in this study. Brown or gray dots arranged in a linear fashion in 21%. Hypopigmented structural zones in 67%. Coiled vessels in 44%. And vessels also arranged in linear fashion in 11%. Vessels arranged in clusters, the typical feature of unpigmented Bowen's disease was seen only rarely. However, some cases had practically no clue, 10%. Here is an example of a typical lesion of pigmented Bowen's disease. You see clinically a scaly lesion, dermatoscopically the pattern is dots and structureless, but there is a clue, there is more than one clue. The dots are arranged in lines at the periphery and the vascular pattern you can see you can see that the vessels are coils, which is typical for Bowen's disease. Here another example, clinically a scaling lesion, dermatoscopically again pattern of dots and also scales present dermatoscopically, but here you can see the gray dots are arranged in lines and also again you see the coiled vessels, which are typical for pigmented Bowen's disease. And this is a very interesting example, clinically scaly lesion, dermatoscopically again, chaotic arrangement of patterns, 
structureless and dots and chaotic arrangement of colors but as you can see here in a close-up demoscopically vessels and also gray dots are arranged as lines in the periphery linear pattern of dots and vessels this is typical for pigmented points disease